There have been a bunch of unboxing videos so far by YouTubers that are bigger and have better equipment than me, but I wanted to talk about uh, the laptop setup that I've got going and just walk you through a couple of the steps I had to take. So I went to oculus.com forward slash en dash us slash setup, and that's where I got the download for Oculus Home. And it took a while to download. I think it was like a gigabyte and a half. Uh, once it did launch the store, Basically, I was able to redeem one of my codes for eValkyrie since I was a pre-order. Just went into uh, settings, redeem code. That was pretty cool. Also got Lucky's Tale, and it just it said it was free um, because I had pre-ordered. And then I went and got Henry just a minute ago, narrated by Elijah Wood. That looks pretty cool. I haven't tried any of this yet. I wanted to film my first connection with the Oculus rift and just talk about any issues that come up it looks like i was also going to need to update my drivers so I went down here to geforce experience in my little system tray right click and open the nvidia geforce experience and go ahead and close oculus so it sounds like they have um, updated drivers specifically for the rift check for updates it might have just come out today today is the 28th so it's the first day that Oculus Rift has been available. Okay, GeForce Game Ready Driver. Yep, and that's one of the line items. Virtual reality is here. This Game Ready Driver brings full support for the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, optimizations and enhancement for virtual reality games such as eValkyrie, Kronos, Elite Dangerous, and latest support for NVIDIA VR works. Make sure your PC is GeForce GTX VR ready before stepping into the Rift. A new driver also brings the latest support and enhancements for the upcoming HTC Vive headset. Awesome, so I'm expecting to get that on the 5th. Uh, so just over a week from today. So yep, let's download that driver. And while that's happening, let's do a little unboxing action. And as I've talked about before, I decided to get a laptop because you know, I just don't have that much room. I travel around, I'm at an Airbnb location right now. Some really nice people, but uh, you know, in my car, and on planes and stuff, there just wasn't room. So I'm super excited to have this, hope, hoping that it works flawlessly and uh, provides a great level of performance. But, yeah. It was interesting, just like a day ago, I was getting notifications, maybe a couple days from UPS, uh, United Postal Service, that this was coming from Louisville, Kentucky. Some of the other stuff has said, you know, Hacker Way, which is in um, Palo Alto, California, Oculus headquarters. So maybe in Kentucky, there's like a an air freight drop off location or something like that. Be curious to know how they got all these over. As a quick aside, I actually signed up for the UPS website, created an account, and paid $40 uh, so that I could potentially change the drop off location or have my package held at a UPS spot because I've kind of moved. I don't really have a permanent base. Um, and they couldn't do anything about it. Apparently, Oculus didn't provide any um, like a f specific shipping numbers or uh, like sort of a um, shipping location. Basically, UPS told me they didn't have all of the necessary requirements to allow me to change or really even very closely track uh, the the product. And so, if you're thinking about paying that forty dollars for UPS, or you're also trying to figure out how to reschedule delivery or change the destination. I, I, I wouldn't mess with it. I mean, I called them, I went on the support website, did the ch text chat, and they weren't able to do anything. So I ended up driving um, you know, like four hours today to go pick this up from, and kind of wait outside, like for the UPS guy. Um, so it worked out, but it, it wasn't quite as convenient as it maybe could have been. Oh, cool. Thank you, Kickstarter. Dear VR Pioneer, we want to personally thank you for your enthusiastic support of Oculus. People have been dreaming about immersive high-end VR for decades, and this is just the beginning. We can't wait to share more incredible VR games and experiences with you later this year. Thanks for being part of this landmark moment. We'll see you in the Rift. Palmer, Brendan, Nate Mitchell, and the Oculus team. And it looks like they all autographed it. Man, it's a lot of work. Pretty cool. That must be the special treat they were talking about. For backers it's like a pretty nice box here it's got like a half an inch of padding all around it i might keep this nice picture of the rift on the front whoa thank you kickstarter okay so it's like a sticker 
Probably gonna keep the bag too. A little handle. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a pretty neat box. Valkyrie, Lucky Sail, Farlands. I don't know as much about that one. I'm gonna see how much this thing weighs. Just so happen to have a scale with me. 9.9 .9 pounds, so it's almost 10 pounds of Rift stuff. 10 pounds, huh. Interesting. Because the HMD itself is supposed to be super light. So you can play forever. Love that. I don't want to damage any of this. Um, when the very first backer got his riff from Palmer, I was just like, ah, because they were just ripping off the thing and it was all autographed and that was kind of interesting. I feel like there was such an opportunity to, I don't know, just do more. This is where you try not to open it upside down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So you open the front. There we go. Oh man. Looks like things have been tumbling around a little bit in here. Got the little nerfed out button pad. That was right here. Not planning to use that a whole lot. Smells like plastic. Little tower. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't want to, it's just like, ah, I'm doing this right. Yeah. Okay. So it was being held on with these little plastic arms at the side. Wow. Yeah, the eye holes are just, they're, they're like super big on the inside. It's going to be cool. I've used the, the developer kit one, the original Rift DK, um, and then DK2, and yeah, this is just beautiful compared to those. The front is plastic, uh, so only the sides are like this cloth material. I, I thought the front was also going to be cloth, but I guess that's just IR transparent plastic, and then they've got the IR dots on the back and stuff too. Wow. And the cable to keep that in mind so it kind of gets wound up right there. I don't know what these batteries are for. I don't think they're too big for that. They must be for the Xbox controller. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. Oh. Little microfiber. Nice. This is cool. Little Oculus sticker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Neat. Probably instructions that I'm never going to read. Oh, there's two! Ah! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, man, now i got to put it back. There we go. Okay, the stickers were in this nice little... There we go. Sweet. A gigantic wireless dongle for the Xbox One controller. Boo! Why can't they just do Bluetooth, like, straight to my computer? Why do you need this? This is... I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, this thing looks nice though. Oh man. As excited as I am for touch and like the wands for the Vive, I, you know, this is still pretty exciting to me. I like traditional controllers. I'm going to be doing as much like extreme VR so I can try to get rid of my nauseous feelings as possible. Uh, I do get a little bit VR sick sometimes. I was playing like What's the one where you're in like a jet pack and you're all flying around? That one kind of makes me sick. I'll like purposely go and then I'll just let go and fall. I'll be like, ah, and I'll start to feel queasy. But it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Um, interesting, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it says minus and plus, okay, good. There we go, yeah. Anyway, the point being, you can also drink like ginger ale, I hear, helps to reduce the symptoms of nausea motion sickness nice got it this is something i think i can just plug in right away and hopefully my computer will recognize it and automatically whatever respond so one of the questions i had was like would is there room for motion controls in this cool box someday like where do you put maybe, maybe like right here it seemed like there's room right here i don't know how big they are with the loops and stuff Okay, tons of Xbox stuff for the wireless controller. Okay, great.
stuff I'm not going to read. I don't know if there's anything else in this box. Not sure I want to spend too much time exploring. Let's see what this is. It's just like a USB extension cord, probably, for the little camera. Okay, got the little wiper. I'm just going to leave that in there. Yeah, so I wonder if there's if this comes out. It doesn't seem like it. It does seem like there's room in there still, though. Whatever. Enough of this unboxing stuff. Moment. Oh, that's cool. Padding. Love it. The box is really cool. You did a good job, guys. Um, that's that's fun. Yay! Okay. On to the next step of plugging all this stuff in. Okay, so I got all the stickers and everything off. We've got an HDMI port and a USB 3. There's the headphones and the Velcro. And then it looks like that must be interpupillary distance dial. That's pretty cool. Just right down there. I'm used to that little scrolly wheel on top. Um, so I wonder how you adjust like in and out. I don't know. I'm going to just fool around with this and try to get it fitted right for myself. I'm going to leave the plastic sticker things on at first um, just so that it doesn't get all like greased up. You can see the little proximity sensor for my face. There's the wire. Hmm, interesting. I guess I saw the post on Reddit about someone like their Velcro came off. So I'm going to be like extra careful. Oh, that is so smooth. Yes. This is awesome. Just the ear pieces out. Oh. Oh, okay. They're like they like pop in or pop out. It's like one or the other. I thought it was going to be like flowing the whole way. Okay. Just got my hair cut recently, so it won't be hair all over the place. Mm. Oh yeah, feels awesome. So much better than DK. It feels about right. Uh, hmm. I want it to be even on both sides, so I'm gonna adjust a little bit more now. Awesome, yeah, it pushes just right on my forehead instead of my cheekbones, which was something I complained about and tried to fix on the Samsung Gear VR. So this is a, a huge improvement. Just the plastic on the back. I wonder if that should be going even lower. And it doesn't hit your ears at all. Those straps would like push down on your ears if you see some of the early pictures of Mark uh, using even the DK2, it's always like squishing their ears. Okay, so things are going well thus far. Let's go ahead and plug in the giant Xbox dongle. I think I'm gonna, not only do you need a port, but you need like a lot of clearance on either side of this thing, which is sort of a bummer. I guess that's why they give you the little extension thing. Installing device, cool. Not really sure how to get this thing to connect. Did not read those instructions. Okay, so it took me a few minutes to figure this out. Thought I'd share with you. Make sure you get the batteries in the right direction in the Xbox One controller. Then I pressed the circle that's glowing right now. Then I held down the little dot on the upper left edge right there for three seconds. And there's a little button kind of on the upper edge of the wireless USB adapter too. So I had to hold that for three seconds. Both of them flashed for a little while, and then it connected, and there was a little like loading device thing here. Um, I'm just in settings, connected devices, and I can see the wireless adapter. So hooray, the Xbox One controller is now set up.
It wasn't quite as straightforward as I thought. Hopefully that helps someone else who is new to that device. Put this little Kickstarter note away. There we go. Oh, oh gotta close this first. Nice. I don't know where to put this little Kickstarter note. I wish, I wish there was like a little, whatever. Don't want to waste my wishes. Okay. On to next steps. Let's see. Okay, so I haven't plugged anything else in yet. Uh, I did download Oculus. And uh, I was able to download a bunch of games and stuff first. I just skipped the configuration step because I didn't have my Rift yet. So maybe now if I go into Rift headset not detected, please make sure the device is connected. Sensor not detected. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to plug those in now. Got this sensor. Unplugged little plastic clippy thing. I love that they included those. Oh, man. Looks like there's already a firmware update. Uh, update now. This update ensures that your hardware will work properly when you're in VR. You won't be able to access your hardware or the Oculus app during the update, which should take about two minutes. During this update, please make sure your computer and Oculus remote are turned on. Your headset and sensor are plugged in. Okay, I gotta plug in the headset. Uh, what a mess. It's gonna be way cooler when the little camera right there just automatically does VR. You only have maybe one thing plugged in or maybe even a wireless headset. That will be awesome. Okay, this is another reason they have a little extender, because some people like me have HDMI on the back. And, well, maybe it'll reach. I'm going to have to unplug my mouse. And okay. There we go. Looks like it's going to work. There we go. Got it. You just see all this stuff. So I got the sensor, I got the laptop, I got my mouse, Xbox thing, two things plugged in, the headset in the back. The more USBs and all these little covers. Okay, and now it says we also need to do the little sensor. Let's do that as well. Okay, there's the sensor. I don't know, what do I do? Like, press the O on it. Time to read more instructions. Okay, time to go to oculus.com slash setup. This doesn't give me instructions. How to pair your remote. Oculus remote setup. First time setup. Pull the plastic tab out of the remote. That's probably up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, come on. Jeez, it's really in there. My goodness. Oh, I can't get this thing out. It's so, there it is. Oh, look how long that thing is. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. And then. Press the select button. It's like the center. If the remote does not connect, slide back, slide the back cover off and check if the plastic tab was fully removed. Yeah, you gotta really pull that thing. Goodness. Well, okay. I think let's just do that. Waiting to update sensor. Okay, so that's this thing over here. Getting getting updated. Shine that up like it would be looking at my face. Sweet. Rebooting firmware. Writing to remote. That's this thing. Cool. Don't unplug or turn off your computer or Oculus device during this update. Noted. I really want to play the fly game with the eagles. Rift headset not detected. Okay, come on, come on. Good. I guess we're good. How goes video, 360 photos. When is the fly one coming out? Hmm. Okay, well. I guess that's it. Maybe I'll just put the headset on and see what happens. How about that? Yeah, cool. There's a little light little orange light right there in the headset and that's probably the proximity sensor so when I put that on 
then maybe the games will start and stuff. Okay, I'm going to try it with my glasses. Not really working. I'm just going to go without glasses. Take off the little eye protectors. Oh boy. It's a big deal. I'm waiting forever for this. Oh yeah. Cool. Man, it looks really clear. Way more, way bigger field of view than I remember from like the developer kits. Press the A button on the Xbox. Oh, wow. It's just super clear. So it's the interpupillary distance thing going on. This is awesome. It's, it's, it's a lot lighter than feeling than Gear VR. Maybe just because it has the back thing going on. I want to like reset what, so this is like forward to me, but in real life it's just I'm like facing the camera, I guess. Wow. I wonder if there's like an adjustment for focus. It's, it's pretty focused. Wow, it's awesome. It's working, like even with my laptop. Oh, cool. Loving it. Just, it's just like, yeah, there's just, it just feels bigger than the Gear VR. Okay, let's do Lucky's Tail. Enough with this. Yeah, so I gotta try to face myself towards the camera. Playful. <laughs> cool. It'd be nice if I could turn the volume, like, down. Awesome. I'm going to play some games now. It worked. I've got the uh, Rift running. You can see there's like the game I'm looking around. There's menus and stuff. Well, I've been playing Lucky's Tale now for 10 or 15 minutes and just really being able to take in the, the detail and the, the sounds and just the experience. They've done such a good job. I mean, it's hard to explain the feeling that you get, even even coming from the developer kits, it's it's really moving. It's like it's emotional being in there, having it work so flawlessly. You know, there there aren't any of the big issues. Like it's just amazing the investment these guys have made. Even putting on and taking on the headset, there's like kind of a spring loaded thing. So when you put it on like a baseball cap, you know, it it kind of you don't have to snag it over your nose and over your eyes and. It just, it, it kind of goes away. And the experience, I've just got to hand it to the guys from Playful because this is, it's moving. And I, I'm, you know, I've played Mario. I've played those other games. Um, just the sounds, like the cute, it, it's so positive. You're in there, the little birds and stuff are d dancing around and singing. And there's a cute little owl and they're like, shoo, shoo. And the voice acting for, for Lucky uh, is, is amazing too. Just really happy. It's it takes you to a whole nother place. It's immersive in like all the right ways. Um, it's it's just, um, it's amazing. I don't wanna do a walkthrough or a, a review or anything, a, a guide, because you can't really, you can't convey the type of experience that you would have just by being there and noticing the, all the little details, um, the, the love that was really put into this game. And I'm just, I'm blown away. It's It's awesome. Uh, I hope you guys all get your rift soon, or if you've you've got it, like yeah, this is a kids game or whatever. But it's just, it's it's amazing. It's like going to Disneyland or something. It kind of reminded me of that a couple times, like the Winnie the Pooh ride at Disney. You wait in line forever, and then you go through, and it's got that same positive energy, and you kind of lose yourself in the the colors and the music, and uh, maybe the nostalgia a little bit. And Lucky's Tale it, it draws from that. Like there's moments when you go into a little foxhole or whatever and it's like doo -doo 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 -doo, and it reminds me it's kind of similar to mario brothers or something I, I you know shame on nintendo for denying the power of vr and and not 
you know, I, I, I don't remember who it is. One of their, the leaders is like, oh, we're not ready for that. Or the world isn't ready. It's like bull, bull crap. I mean, this, it's so powerful and it's the perfect medium for like this kid's game where you're exploring, you're adventuring. And I've noticed, I feel totally comfortable in this. I'm nearsighted. I have neck and back issues and stuff. And being able to just have the headset on and look around and not worry about a big TV or how close am I or laying down. I, I can just be comfortable. I can enjoy the experience and just be present and, and lose myself in it. And it's just, you know, one of my favorite games for the Gear VR has been Adventure Time. But, you know, it's relatively short and um, they put a lot of love and, and care into it, but not not the level that they have on Lucky's Tale. Um, I'm just... I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, I, I'm really just, you guys have done such a good job, uh, Palmer and, you know, Mark getting involved, investing money and time into this. I, you know, I read the thing online where it's like, we're going to give away 95% of our wealth. It's like, give some of that to museums and, and buy some rainforests and do some other stuff. But this is a really cool way to to also not really give away it's a business you're running it but you still i mean to invest this much and back the developers and stuff like i'm spending a lot of money myself with this laptop with the rift i'm going to get the vive um i think this is it's amazing technology because it it does let you experience something and and be there and in, in a big way it does this is sort of like an environmentally positive technology because I don't have to travel somewhere to, to really feel like I'm there and to learn, to connect. It's like the next level of the internet or something. I, mean, I love to read. I'm on Reddit all the time. And I ride bikes and I'm out there doing, you know, all kind of natural stuff. But being able to hop in VR and then, you know, play with friends. Like I can imagine, um, you know, like shooter games like Gears of War when you do like co-op or something with your friends where you're right there and you're talking and you're exploring levels together. That's just going to be phenomenal. Like I'm, I'm so excited. And you know, again, shout out to Gabe Newell and the guys at Valve. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that company, and uh, I, I think it's going to be a really healthy, competitive landscape. And uh, I, one, one idea or like hope that I, I hope happens is the flying game, like the Eagle Flight or whatever. When motion controls come out for Rift, please enable those so that I can like. I could like fly around and you know get like an arm workout and get some blood flowing and stuff i think that would be so cool i haven't heard anything about it as i understand it right now you just press the button or whatever to accelerate i want engagement i want to feel like i'm in the game and and you know hover junkers might be an example of that but with the rift starting out using seated vr it makes sense like okay i got my controller i'm moving my head it's it's enjoyable this way but that kind of that arm movement thing, flapping your wings, flying around, that could be a huge, I, I think it might even reduce motion sickness, um, but it'd be it's just a good way to kind of stretch, like I'm hands forward all day, like typing at the computer, being able to grab some motion controls and fly and like, you know, even kind of tilt my hands and control the wings, like how awesome would that be? That would be so cool. Please do that. And in the meantime, you know, more more traditional games like Lucky's Tale where you use a controller you know it's still it's it's incredibly compelling it's it's awesome so again thank you so so much um i was a really early backer on kickstarter like right away i got to meet palmer at south by southwest and i think i i geeked him out a little too much i was like oh, this is gonna change the world like oh my gosh and imagine what it'll do for like relationships and he's just like okay dude but like I, you know i feel it i'm i'm all in and uh i'm just excited to see where this goes, you know, I, I want to contribute. And I guess the best way possible right now is just buying a bunch of games and, and sharing my thoughts and tutorials and trying to help people if you have questions or anything. If you, you know, you're looking for laptops, I did another um, little short on a little video that I'll, I'll link to, I'll add like a little annotation talking about, you know, the different laptop options and people on Reddit have been like, Oh, you should get an Alienware, or you can get a Falcon or, you know, some people are like, Oh, can I overclock my uh, GTX 90, 980? M, like the mobile version it's like i got the just the 980 desktop version in this laptop i paid a lot for it because you know it works it's like flawless this way i'm hoping in the future more people will be able to you know use their laptops but uh yeah you know it takes the processing power and anyway um i think that that's that's it i just wanted to say thanks and express some ideas and share a little bit more of like a longer kind of podcast type of thing because i've been 
yearning and like craving for uh, feedback and just hearing people talk about their experiences with the Oculus Rift, um, almost more than just like having it and, and owning it and using it. Like it's fun to use, but I, the space is so interesting to me um, that thinking about it, talking and hearing other people's experiences is really, really fun. I got to listen to the Angry Joe overview uh, earlier today, actually, when I was driving um, in LA traffic, and uh, it was totally worth it. I just wanted to get it, you know, have it right away and be sort of part of the the launch. And uh, yeah, it's it's been worth it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that, that sort of unboxing and their perspective too. And they were talking about how much money it is and stuff. And I've, I've been saving for like three years. So it's not a lot of money for me. I've just been setting aside money like every month and, and saving up. And it's totally, totally worth it. Like I have no regrets right now. And, you know, I'm going to go and spend hundreds more on games. But, um, you know, it's, it's, this technology is, is like world changing. It's just amazing. And I can't wait to have, you know, uh, archaeologists and people going out and like letting, letting us into like the pyramids and um, being present in, in more of these like world heritage sites and stuff. Uh, just last night I was reading that Palmyra, the the ancient city in the Middle East that was like said to be destroyed by ISIS is in like in pretty decent shape. I'm like, hooray, you know, awesome. I'd love it if we could post some snipers at some of these like sites and try to protect them a little bit more, all the money we spend on like bullshit stuff in our world. Um, but one way of preserving them, of course, is is putting them into like a digital landscape for more people to experience. You don't have to take a plane there. You don't have to, and it's just like, it's it's just rocks and stuff. It's really the knowledge that I'm interested in. And I feel like VR is one way to, you know, connect with the information and carry it forward, the, the knowledge. I, I wish more and more people in the world could have access to a rift. And I'm certainly going to be sharing it with my friends and, you know, commenting and stuff. But uh, yeah, just incredible. Like, again, kudos to all the people working in VR, really appreciate it. And you're doing an amazing job. I know it's not an easy industry to work in when you have deadlines for video games and you're just pouring yourself into it. Uh, but it's just, it's just wonderful. So yeah, thank you. Thank you again. Good job.